Hey everybody, welcome to another Let's Play. Today, it's Naruto Rise of a Ninja. A game I enjoyed when I was, well, a little bit younger. Um, before we jump into this game, uh, I have to say that the cutscenes in this game are taken straight from the anime. So, unfortunately, I can't show you uh, that. So, I will be cutting those out. And I believe that when we press uh, when we start the game, we are greeted with an intro cutscene that explains the background story um, of the anime and the manga and this game. Uh, and I will explain for the people who um, who have never, who have either never played this game or read the manga or watched the anime. So no worries. So let's jump into it, shall we? Apparently, we were able to skip the cutscene. That's good. Not that you'll notice because I will have cut that part out, but eh. I should also have mentioned that this game is, is fully voice acted. So, uh, for the people who don't know the story of Naruto, uh, Naruto is this little guy in the orange uh, suit, clothes. And 12 years ago, his village uh, was attacked by a um, fox, a giant nine-tailed fox. And to save the villagers, his father basically sealed the fox inside of him. And that's why he's shunned by uh, most villagers and their children. But their children don't know the real reason, they just follow along with their parents. And that's the gist of it. I expect people to watch, um, who have, the people who are watching this to have either played this game or know just the anime or manga so oh and it goes without saying but um, no spoilers in the comments even if it's not related to the game uh, communication you are currently unpopular with the villagers most of them will not help you if you help the villagers they will become happy and they will then help you during your missions by answering your questions to talk to villagers press X so let's try that Maybe I should turn on English voices. I have no idea what he just said. Anyway, um, see that guy with the blue scroll above his head? Oh, yeah. I was just going to explain that. But, sure. Missions. Villagers with an orange uh, scroll or blue scroll icon above them have tasks or missions for you to accomplish. Orange scrolls are quests, which will increase your health. And blue scrolls are missions, which will increase your chakra. And chakra is basically uh, mana, if you're familiar with. R I think it's very common in RPGs to have mana, or or um, key in Dragon Ball, or or yeah, whatever stuff like that. So let's talk to this dude. イルカ先生は君に本当の意味で強くなってほしいと思ってるんだよ。お互い親のいないものおかげさまのところにある秘密の巻物を手に入れれば新しい術を覚えられるんだ。でもそれは誰にも見られないようにして森へ持っていかないといけない。新しい術を覚えるのに僕も力を貸してあげるよ。カッシン。Mission log. A new mission, a ninja mission has been added to your mission log. Hold down X to consult your log. So, mission update, steal the Forbidden Scroll from the Hokage's office and bring it back to... Uh, Mizuki. Oh, uh, that's one thing I forgot to uh, explain, because I forgot that cutscene was there. Uh, so, in that cutscene that we skipped, you could see uh, Naruto, Naruto defacing the Hokage statues and then failing his exam to uh, graduate from the Ninja Academy. And now that dude um, told us that 
we could still graduate if we uh, managed to steal this scroll from the Hokage's office. So that's what we're doing now. And the Hokage is basically the mayor of the town, I guess. Because, well, he's a leader of the city. Let's leave it at that. So, we have found the scroll and we've taken it. Let's escape with a forbidden scroll. And we're introduced to ninja races. Uh, you're about to start a race. These markers indicate the checkpoints you must go through. Keep an eye on the timer indicator. You must reach the last marker before time runs out. Oh, also, there will be a cutscene in the middle of this and I will be cutting that out. So if you see a sudden skip, cutscene. Oh, we can't even sprint yet. That's, that's great. Alright, so let's move on. So we just follow these markers to the thingy. So in the cutscene we just saw, or that was just there, um, you saw the Hokage ordering ninjas to find us and to bring us back to him because we've taken a scroll, which we were not allowed to do apparently, but we don't know that yet, so shh. So if we follow these markers into the forest, we should encounter uh, Mizuki at some point. And apparently he will help us uh, master whatever technique we can learn from this score, uh, scroll. Also, a note, you can't swim in this game, so try to avoid water if you can. You will lose some health and you will be teleported back on land if you fall into the water. And also this is kind of weird because you sh Ah, oh, crap. Like that. Because usually I um, have my headphones plugged into my microphone so I can monitor myself, but I can't do that with this because I need to plug my needed to plug my headphones into uh, my TV so the um, get audio from the TV doesn't bleed through the microphone and it's kind of weird not being able to hear myself. But I suppose you don't care about that. We're here. So this is how um, we perform jutsu or um, ninja techniques, I guess. And performing these will uh, consume chakra. に使っちまったか。まだ術 And so we have to fight Mizuki now. Um, before I read that, I'm going to tell you what happened in that cutscene. So basically, uh, Mizuki attacked Erika and Naruto. And he told Naruto that basically the reason that everybody hates him is because the fox is sealed inside of him. And that he wanted the scroll. And then Naruto got told by Erika that the scroll contains secret techniques that could put it... The village in danger and not to give to him and blah 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 yada 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 long story short we have to beat uh, Mizuki combat training uh, X horizontal attack these attacks push your opponents back to create an opportunity for jutsu more complex attacks create better opportunities vertical attacks these attacks keep your opponent close while you recharge your chakra A is jump B is block RT grabs your opponent combine X or Y with one of these five positions to change your attack and that's basically it. So, and now we're um, getting some explain explanations about combos. There we go. And basically that first combo we just saw is the combo I use most. Because it's easy. And 
you might be able to hear some button mashing. But, yeah, sorry about that, if you can. Uh, let's see if we can grab him. Ouch. No, I want to... Let me grab you. Uh, was that a grab? Yeah, I believe that was. So, let's finish him off. Out. No. Oh, he grabbed us. Doggone it. This is taking me longer than it should. Alright. Oh crap, we're gonna lose at this rate. That's what I try for trying to show you guys things. And now we're doing the Jutsu. Uh, the Shadow Claim. Which is... Basically Naruto's signature technique, I guess. For the first part of the series anyways. And we can input a button prompt that we will have to press during this animation. And the more complex our button prompt sequences, the power more powerful our jutsu. And now we have to feed the Mizuki. That was easy. And now we have to talk to Erika, who is sitting here on the ground. And we've got a new memo clip. Uh, memo clips, you have just acquired your first memo clip. Memo clips are powerful memories that allow Naruto to keep fighting. They can be used when you're defeated to, to help you regain some energy. When the memo clip sequence start, starts, press A rapidly to recover health and chakra. So basically, it's like the second uh, wind thing in Borderlands, I think. Uh, when you are defeated in battle, you will be able to choose a memo clip. And later on, you get more memo clips um, from varying lengths. And you just mash the A button to regain some health and chakra. So what happened in that cutscene just now is... Um, Erika told us to tell Naruto to close his eyes. And then when Naruto opened his eyes again, he was presented with a um, headband, which is uh, which signifies that he passed the Ninja Academy and is now officially a ninja, which was very important to Naruto because he wants to become the Hokage one day, or well, surpass the Hokage anyways. So. We should head back to the village and meet Erika at the ramen shop. But... Oh, but first this. Oh, Naruto! I don't think I'm サトを探索してみろ。助けを探してる者もおるだろう。手元の地図を見ればどこにおるかわかる。任務を受けるとそれらも地図に表示され、どこに行けばいいかも示される。特に重要なものは赤で表示されるのじゃ。今はそれだけじゃ。頑張るのだぞ。The mini map. You have now access to the mini map. All of your quests will be identified here. Look for the scroll icons to acquire new missions. Remember that orange scrolls indicate quests, which will increase your health, while blue scrolls indicate missions, which will increase your chakra. The 
orange axis and blue axis indicate your objectives. Your most important missions will be highlighted at all times. So basically if you look at our minimap you can see that there's an orange uh, scroll highlighted in red. And that means that it's it will progress um, the story if we do that one. So let's go find out where it is exactly. So it should be somewhere over here. I need to get used to controls again. It's been so long since I've played this. Alright, so it's just around this bend, I believe. And it is. Alright, so I'm going to end this here, actually. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.